In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of a filming app called Beast Cam. I've only just heard about it thanks to one of my viewers, shout out. And out of curiosity, I'm going to just go ahead, get it, open it, and as I see it for the first time, you will too. So if you're a fan of Filmic Pro or you're a fan of ProTake, you might like this application. So join me now as I unbox it for you and me yep. for the first time. All right, let's open up the App Store and type in Beast Cam and see what we get. So the second choice here is what I was looking for, Beast Cam Pro Cam. Only 33 reviews so far for the price of $14.99 nice image here I think nice advertisement so if we look at the ratings I already see it's 4.6 out of 5 stars but only 33 ratings I wonder what to expect let's take a closer look at the ratings so if I click on see all of course the first thing we see are the highest ratings I like everything about this app I love the layout and the user interface more than all the others for example, Filmic Pro, Mavis, and etc. I had issues when I first launched with frame rate dropping. While all other phones are VFR, I feel that it's much more improved since I first used it. It is now my go-to app for filming commercials and other video content. Interesting. With the introduction to 10-bit video with the iPhone 12, I've done several tests in pre-post-production. This app delivers the best video quality. Kudos to Bscript. Okay, you got my attention. Now that's one five star. Here's a disappointed review. What do they say? Two stars only. I've been waiting over a year for this app to release. I have to say, as a huge fan of Bscript products, owning almost their entire inventory, I'm extremely disappointed in this app. Oh no. When you try to combine a still photo app with a video app, you become a jack of all trades and a master of none. For what this app offers, it brings nothing new to the table and falls short of what other apps offer at less money. For example, the Pro Camera app for Moment offers more features like an iPad and watch version for a fraction of the cost. Beast Grip should have followed Filmic Pro's philosophy and offer dedicated apps for still photos and video and focus on bringing new pro features, not more of the same at an inflated price. Okay, so we have some good, good views and some negative views. I have not got this obviously yet, but let's go ahead and buy it. So let's download, purchase, and let's open. And what do we have? Yes, you can access my camera. Yes, you can access my microphone. All right, this looks interesting. Let's switch to landscape mode. So what do we see? Over here on the left, we've got digital slate, hardware stabilization. We have different types of stabilization. Standard, cinematic, so three choices here. Let's go with standard stabilization. Guides down here. So we have our center guide, put on our grid lines different aspect ratios, brightness as well, click on these, they go back and forth. All right, grid lines, big fan, keep them on. All right, uh, on the left hand side again, we've got our different lenses. So wide angle, our telescopic angle, ultra wide, you can zoom and so on. Okay, down here, this box, we have our resolution. HD and so on. Gosh, 4K. I, I'm a 4K guy, so I'll click on 4K. Our frame rate 24 through 60, going all the way up to 240. I guess if we come down here to HD, which would be 1280 by 720, or the next one 12, I'm sorry, 1920 by 1080, we get our options for 120 and 240 frames per second. But naturally, with the same with other applications when we go up to 4k the 120 and 240 are not available nonetheless that's fine i like to film in 24 frames per second our quality standard is interesting we have low standard high and beast mode what can that be I have to look that up let's choose beast for now okay why not okay down here we've got our our torch or i guess our flashlight 
on and off. I <laughs> guess we'll keep, why would you keep it on? Who really does that? Our microphone input. Let me see, you can have input from the bottom, from the sides. This is interesting, I've never seen this before. How about you guys? But it doesn't give me an option. Maybe I need to plug in a special microphone. Format, ACC, PCM, AIFF, usually recorded AIFF. Sample rate, I have only one option. Okay, let's click out of that. Go to the bottom left. So here are settings. So as far as settings go, prioritization on and off photo geotagging that's interesting if you when you take a photo if you want to put in your location you can adjust this to your preferences let's get out of that volume shutter gesture controls for exposure zoom and focus save your photos to camera roll or to the applet application itself I prefer going to the camera roll because it's easier yes you can go ahead and select and choose my photos load default preset on start smart HDR save digital slate state that's a tongue twister yep. delete option pop out after save export and hide interface on touch interesting on, on. if you click this on you have other options to hide exposure and focus point on touch and hide guides on touch Let's see how that works later so if you have any gear you can add maybe beast gear to this and support you can contact the company itself let's get out of settings our settings are here at the top standard 4k at 24 frames per second we've not filmed anything and uh, i guess about a, i have about 189 gigs on my phone and about 90 percent left on the battery all right that's useful information down at the bottom white balance we can click on that and maybe adjust it you have a few options here that's interesting like most others but can we manually adjust it oh great here on the right you can adjust the white balance that's fantastic that's, that's nice or you can auto white balance i prefer not to auto i prefer manual so this option right here to tell you the truth i'm really not sure what this is this is an f-stop i'm not not certain i'll have to look at the uh, specs Next, I'm not sure what this is either. What do you guys think? Now next, of course, we have ISO. Familiar with that, you can adjust your ISO and I guess your shutter speed here. If I'm, fr if I'm filming in 24 frames per second, I guess I'll go to one over 48. And you can adjust more exposure right here. All right, fairly interesting. Now in the center, just like most other applications, we can adjust our exposure and our focus. At the very bottom right, this would be any photo that's been previously taken. Right above that, we can switch from a camera mode to a video mode. Interesting. And above our, sh our shutter button, we have visual analytics. And at the top, we have presets. Now, presets, I've not yet logged in. I just got this app. But if you want to use presets, this is where you would go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the app. You see what the user interface looks like. Next is to figure out how to work this application best. And that's coming up in our next video. If there's anything you would like to see specifically, simply make a comment on this video and I will try to include it on the next video. Okay, if you thought that was interesting, I'd certainly appreciate a like. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing, especially since the next video We'll go into the details of how to use this particular application and compare it against your favorites, Filmic Pro and ProTake. Oh, and if you want to see more videos like this, check this out right here.